Hello everyone. So today we'll be doing chapter ten, which is law and social justice. Do you recall the story of a shirt from your class seven book? We saw that there was a chain of market links, you know, of uh, links the producer of cotton to the buyer of the shirt in the supermarket. Buying and selling, you know, uh, was taking place at every step in the chain. Many of the people directly or indirectly involved in the production of a shirt. Uh, you know whether you talk about the small farmer who is uh, producing the cotton um uh, uh, the weaver of erode or the workers in the garment we talking about the weavers who weaves it into a cloth or the workers in the garment who finally produces the final uh, uh, garment which is a shirt you know exporting factory faced exploitation or an unfair situation in the world markets everywhere tend to be uh, exploitive of the exploitive of people you know so they are talking that wherever market it uh, wherever there's a market there is an exploitative of people matlab people are exploited markets tend to exploit people whether there are uh, whether they come in the face of workers consumers or producers to protect people from such exploitation the government makes certain laws you know these laws try to ensure that the unfair practices you know such as um, uh many will discuss what are the uh, you know unfair practices and other thing which so that these practices you know which are unfair you know they are kept at minimum that of minimum the least amount of unfair practices are done in the world because even uh, in the um, this thing yeah in the country or in the market even if we try everything but still you know there are people who try to take advantage and exploit people so the aim is to uh, do it minimum let us take a common a market situation where the law is very important this is the issue of workers wages you know workers wages has always been a very debatable topic that how much should a worker get to be paid and how much work should they be uh, should they do so private companies contractors business persons normally want to make as much profit as they can in the drive for profit they might deny workers their rights and not pay them wages for example in the eyes of law it is illegal or wrong to deny workers their wages so it is you know illegal if you don't uh, pay somebody and make them work even on humanitarian grounds you know it is not fair to get your work done and not pay that person similarly to ensure that the workers are not underpaid or uh, paid uh, 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 you know or paid fairly you know so that everybody get what they uh, uh, get paid what they work according to that there is a law of minimum wages matlab इतना पैसा तो तुमको मिलेगा मिनिमम मतलब उतना तो मिलना ही चाहिए उसके ऊपर मिले जितना भी मिलना है मिल सके लेकिन उससे कम नहीं मिलेगा अ वर्कर हैज़ टू बी पेड नॉट लेस देन द मिनिमम वेज बाय द एम्प्लॉय द मिनिमम वेज आर रिवाइज अपवर्ड एवरी फ्यू इयर्स एंड दिस मिनिमम यू नो वेजेज विच आर टू बी पेड टू द पीपल दे आर रिवाइज फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम बिकॉज यू नो देर इज इन्फ्लेशन इन द मार्केट मतलब थिंग्स गेट एक्सपेंस Uh, expensive to buy and so the even they should uh, even people should uh, have in uh, should in get increased amount of minimum wage as with the law on minimum wages which is meant to protect workers there are also laws to protect the interest of producers consumers in the market these help uh, you know ensure that the relations between the three parties whether you talk about workers you talk about the consumers and the producers are governed in a manner that is not exploited so these are the three important parts uh, you know parties uh, in the market first is a worker who uh, you know makes everything and uh, everything second is consumer you me who go and buy that stuff second is a producer who actually produce all that stuff you know so um why do we need a law on minimum wages find out what is the minimum wage for a construction worker you can find it in in your by area would you think that the minimum wage for a construction worker is adequate low or high matlab do you think whatever they are being getting paid whether it's 200 rupees per day 150 per day is it uh, okay considering all the market uh, you know uh, uh, inflation and everything how expensive uh, uh, rice um, 
aata dal is being and do you think it is equal equivalent to the their minimum wage that they can survive who sets the minimum wage and who sets these minimum wages that below this you cannot pay you supposed to pay itna at least so here is um, workers in a textile mill in ahmedabad faced faced with greater competition from power looms a majority of the textile mills closed down during the 1980s and 1990s power looms are small units with you know so power looms are small units with four to six looms the owner operates uh, them with hired uh, with hired and family labor it is well known that conditions of work in a power loom are far from satisfactory so these are power looms you know or uh, the textile mills that are there and usually the working conditions here are not good so here is a table let's see what is what does it say table 1 provides some important laws relating to the protection of these various interests column 2 and 3 in table 1 states why and for whom these laws are necessary based on these discussions in your classroom you have to complete the remaining entries in the table so these are a certain laws you know which are there to protect so uh, let's see uh, what are these laws minimum wages act specifies specifies that wages should not be below a specified uh, um, um, uh, specified below a specified minimum so we uh, we are saying that isse niche it cannot go for why is it necessary because many workers are denied fair wages by the employers you know they get or they work for 12 hours some people actually work for 12 hours you know 13 hours a day and then they get only 100 rupees 200 rupees so there has to be a balance between how much hours they work and how much they get paid because they uh, they badly need work workers have no bargaining power and are paid low wages you know they everybody wants to work and if so so they the thing chalo at least they'll earn itna if they because they do have no other opportunities to earn whose interest does the law protect this law is meant to protect the interest of all the workers particularly farm laborers construction workers factory workers domestic workers etc law specifying that there be adequate safety measures in workplaces for example uh, alarm system emergency exit properly functioning machinery so you know a lot of times in these factories and all these workplaces any accident can happen uh, for example a fire can take place or an earth quick can take this anything can happen you know it's not um, uh, necessary that uh, uh, everything is going good and only when something will happen uh, because the chances of happening a uh, uh, taking uh, you know of uh, having a fire in the building or you know an earthquake uh, uh, sudden earthquake taking place is 1 is to 10 then it doesn't mean that you don't uh, have safety measures so that is why it is necessary and whose interest does the law protect it of course it is the workers and all the whether uh, all the construction workers factory workers and workers in general i mean then uh, third is that the law requiring that the quality of goods meet certain prescribed standard for example electrical appliances have to meet safety standards so the whatever the product is being actually you know being uh, produced it has to be uh, you know it has the product has to meet certain standards they can you cannot uh, the whoever it's not like if you somebody if that person wants to you know start selling um, bulbs they will start selling any kind of whether even if the quality is not good the person will start selling it it cannot happen see what if you know if there's a fuse in that bulb you know and if it's not connected properly and um, everything all the wires are not there then there are chances that the bulb might burst you know due to sudden electricity uh, if it is like a sudden uh, large amount of electricity just flows through it you know sometimes it happens and that is why goods uh, you know uh, needs to have certain uh, minimum standards you know that prescribed standard that this itna to you have to meet the target for example acs you might have you know for televisions you might have certain requirements for food products especially you know food products uh you know you know they uh, it is said that it can, it should not expire within uh, 12 months or one year two year beauty products your cream powder and everything they have a uh, some lipsticks and everything they have a uh, you know expiry date for 5 years you know especially cosmetics 
so that's how it is uh, because uh, it has to meet then only it can actually be you know uh, available in the market consumers might be put to risk by the quality poor quality of products such as electrical uh, you know we uh, study such as electrical appliances foods medicines and medicines also are very important you know because these go inside our body and they have the power to change they, these have the power to hurt us we might even die consuming a wrong medicine or a wrong composition of medicine who does it benefit it benefits us the consumers the like the patients and everybody whoever takes that thing so law requiring that the prices of essential goods are not high for example sugar kerosene and food why uh, why do you think that all these you know these uh, things you know which are essential these things you know for example sugar kerosene food grains we need these items to live if these items are not there we will not survive it's not some chocolate that if you don't have chocolate then nothing will uh, you won't miss any out in uh, anything good in life or anything extraordinary in life if you don't uh, get uh, to eat chocolate it's okay you will survive it's not uh, uh, this thing oxygen that you require to breathe okay but if you talk about like sugar or kerosene or these things are needed because if they don't have these are the you know things the basic things which are required to made food items so if these are not there how are you going to survive and why is it necessary we've already most of it we discussed but then of course right to life article 21 these are the things which make us live on this planet so that is by uh, it is important and also uh, who's interest of course the poor who will otherwise not able be to, able to be able uh, you know be un, uh, be unable to afford these goods uh, if example if tomorrow food grains you know whether you talk about rice you talk about pulses if it is uh, 2000 rupees per kg do you think the poor person who you know makes uh, only makes 200 rupees per day or 150 rupees per day how is that person going to afford that he's not how is he going to sustain his family so it is a poor you know uh, that uh, every person because india is a democratic country and we all have the right to live you know and get the basic essentials so yeah law requiring the factories do not uh, pollute air and water so it every it is of course it is going to benefit everyone the citizens i mean people humans so why is it necessary of course right to uh, right to life you know environment right uh, the right to live in a pure clean environment then uh, laws against child labor in common place in workplaces because why is it necessary because you know children uh, children uh children are you know very vulnerable vulnerable as in matlab they can easily be exploited you know because firstly they don't have the ability to speak up for themselves they don't know what is wrong and right they are vulnerable they can be easily be exploited taken uh you know benefit out of it out of them so it's necessary of course it's going to benefit children and you know kids and you know anyone who's um, you know below the age of 14 years you can say or even you can say below the actually a child is someone who is below the age of 18 years so here we are taking 18 years okay so anybody who is below the age any person who is below the age of 18 years his rights are equally important and they are, they are more vulnerable than the people who are post 20 law to form workers union as association by organizing uh, you know for this also we can write this only right to life right to clean environment so clean environment i'll just write that clean environment then of course right to life that is also there so uh, by organizing themselves into unions workers can use their combined power to demand fair wages and better conditions so of course you know it's going to if they have a power see one person it is always the power of being together that uh, uh, you know helps people uh, where it will uh, benefit who will it benefit it will benefit the poor workers you know who get underpaid or who don't get a minimum wages or he who gets paid so less that they don't are uh, that they are not even able, able to meet up their demands it's going to benefit all those people 
but merely making laws is not enough you know it has to be even followed in its spirit the government has to ensure that these laws are implemented if i keep on saying that i'll study i'll study but if i if i don't study then i'm just making you know i'm just uh, saying i'm not uh, coming it you know i'm not proving myself or i'm not uh, keeping my words so how does government do that government is uh, you know they make laws and they have to be implemented this means that the law must be enforced enforcement becomes even more important when the law seeks to protect uh, the weak from the strong for instance to ensure that every worker gets fair prices sorry fair uh, pra- fair wages the government has to ensure regular uh, regularly you know they have to inspect uh, like suddenly go and inspect you know and have or uh, like chappa karna um, chhanbin karna you know inspect work site punish those who were well, especially if there is a strong uh, this mechanism you know if if somebody is caught not following rules or anything then there should be a stock a uh, strong mechanism to even deal with some those people when workers are poor or powerless the fear of losing future future earnings or facing reprisal often forces them to accept low wages and that's how you know people mostly you know how do we make somebody weak then if they don't have choice they have to accept it because they are poor that's how we all are burdening our the poor people who are uh, you know below us but they are powerless because they have they have the fear of losing whatever they earn and um, yeah employers know this well and use their power to pay workers less than their wage and that's how they make uh, you know profits out of it in this uh, in the such cases it is crucial that laws are enforced and that is why it is uh, crucial that laws are for enforced through making enforcing and upholding these law- laws the government can control the activities of individuals or private companies so as to ensure social justice and that is how you will ensure social uh, social justice everyone's life is important many of these laws have their basis in the fundamental rights guaranteed by the indian constitution for instance the rights are uh, the right against exploitation it is one of our fundament it is one of our six you know one of the six fundamental rights that that's been given to us by our constitution says that no one can be forced to work for low wages or under bondage similarly the constitution lays out no child below the age of 14 years shall be employed to work in any factory mines we're talking about factory mines or engage in any other hazardous in employment hazardous um, you know it means that something that can cause a danger to life for example mines are very dangerous you know there's blasting going on and even construction is very uh, the but yeah i mean like uh, in a chemical factory there's a hazard yes anything a chemical goes wrong or anything that can cause harm to life how are these laws played in uh, out in practice to what extent do they address the concerns of social justice there are some of the questions that this chapter will go on to explore so we'll see how is it gone about so here's a picture she's you we can see she's a girl and she's uh, washing utensils here are two kids you know one is pouring a tea maybe it's outside a small tea sh- sh- or stall and the other is standing and looking at him according to the 2001 census over 12 million children in india aged between 5 to 14 work in various occupations including hazardous ones so you can see you know 12 million children you know that's a big number so <clears throat> um in october 2016 the government amended the child labor prevention act child labor matlab mazduri bachcho se jo hoti hai ki kishor matlab bolte hain bachcho ko kishor bolte hain kishor mazduri prevention act unko rokna banning children under age 14 years from working in a dom uh, 14 years of age from working as domestic workers or servants in dhabas restaurants tea and shops so below the age of 14 it is banned that anybody who a child cannot work as domestic servant or as workers in dhabas restaurants tea shops etc it made employing these children a punishable offense so it is a punishable offense matlab you can if you are caught if somebody is caught making a pers- uh, a child below the age of 14 years work then that uh, that uh, person can be made 
punishable and um, anyone found violating a ban must be penalized with a punishment ranging from they, uh, they can go to jail of three months to two years and also a fine of 20, uh, 10 thousand to 20 thousand the central government and asked the state government to develop plans to rescue and rehabilitate children who are working as domestic servants to date only three states namely maharashtra karnataka and tamil nadu have published these plans so how do you actually avoid you know that children below the age of 14 years do not work and uh, you know as domestic workers or as workers in dhabas restaurants and sheesh uh, tea, uh, tea shops or you know small shops so proper planning and everything has to be done a plan a blueprint has to become um, bought in and only three states till now maharashtra karnataka and tamil nadu have come up with even today more than a year after this law was passed 75 percent of the domestic workers are under the age of 16 so you can see the figures that's very sad but yeah it is a true um this thing uh true uh this thing uh scenario that is actually taking place so we are going to study about the bhopal gas strategy um what happened in bhopal gas tragedy uh, uh, tragedy okay so you know uh this thing the world's worst industrial tragedy took place in bhopal 24 years ago union carbide on and it was an american company okay uh had a factory in the city in which uh, which actually produced pesticides and midnight on 2nd december 1984 methyl isocyanide so this was a chemical which is a highly poisonous gas started leaking from the urban uh yeah, union carbide so this gas actually um you know it started leaking from the maybe the tankers and everything uh remember so how do people remember it so what happened actually the next morning remembers asiza sultan a survivor at about 12 30 am i woke up to the sound of a baby coughing badly in, in the half light i saw that the room was filled with a white cloud i heard people shouting run run then i started coughing with each breath I seeming as if I was breathing in fire my eyes were burning so you know she's describing a pain that how that gas you know affected her lungs and eyes and everything within three days more than 8,000 people were dead so you know in uh, were dead mother in three days it killed 8,000 people hundreds of those were um maimed so okay so what uh then you can see mass uh, mass uh criminations happening here this this picture so most of those exposed exposed to the poisonous ga uh, uh, gas you know came from poor or working class families of which nearly fifty thousand people were today too sick to work and you know out of which nearly fifty thousand people you know who are affected are still too weak to work among those who survived many developed serious respiratory disorders eye problems respiratory matlab all the system you know to breathe the lungs and everything and other disorders children developed peculiar a uh, peculiar matlab peculiar matlab uh this thing strange abnormal very strange abnormalities like the girl in the photo so you can see you know they developed very strange abnormalities in the children because you know it might have uh you know affected with the body and everything so it does happen you know sometimes how a chemical will react to your body and everything you don't know that is that is why we say that don't take medicines like that if you don't require or this is a very different case but i'm saying in general that you shouldn't take uh medicines like that you should always be uh, it should always be referred by a, a doctor the disaster was not an accident you a uh, union carbide had deliberately ignored the essential safety measures in order to cut cost much before the bhopal gas uh, you know bhopal disaster there had been incidents of gas leak uh, killing a worker and uh, injuring several members of the union carbide employees union protesting so these are protections going uh, pro, uh, protesting protest uh, protest protest sorry protesting uh you know people are protesting against the whole thing the union matlab they all coming together from the same group and everything for with the same purpose to you know fight for 
gas victims with the gas relief minister despite the overwhelming evidence to union carbon uh, uh, sorry union carbide as responsible for the disaster and refused to accept responsibility so this company never accepted that yes it was my fault that i didn't take care about the safety measures in the ensuing uh, ensuing uh, legal battle the government represented the victims in a civil case because civil case why because we've already studied because it was in the interest of the people okay against the uh, union carbide it filed a 3 billion uh, 3 billion dollar compensation case in 1985 but accepted a lowly um 470 dollar billion so but they said that we'll only pay 470 million in 1989 survivors appeal against the settlement but the supreme court ruled that a settlement amount would stand Yeah, so Union Carbide stops into operation, but left behind tons of toxic chemicals. You know, the of course the operations and everything was stopped. The uh, company doesn't run anymore in uh, Bhopal, but all the toxic chemicals they all were left behind. These have seeped into the ground. You know, and everything because they've contaminated the ground and everything, contaminating water, Dow, um, you know, Dow chemical. The company who now owns the plant refuses to take responsibility for. uh clean up so they have everything has you know contaminated the surrounding the environment has been contaminated so the struggle of for justice goes on you can see a picture bags of chemicals lie strewn around the you can see chemicals all lying here you can see animals also just roaming around in the factory 24 years later people are still fighting for justice people are still fighting even till date they are fighting for justice you know it was a case of 1984 and people are still fighting for safe drinking water for healthcare facilities and jobs for the people poisoned by uh, union carbide they all demand that anderson the union carbide chairman who faces criminal charges be prosecuted so they are saying that the owner you know the chairman mr anderson who faces he is the one who faces criminal charge he is supposed to be responsible for whatever happens and he should be prosecuted so i'll tell you something about uh, it's a latest uh, news about mr anderson he is dead i think 2 3 years back from now that is today it is um uh, this thing today it is uh, 8th september 2021 so i think 2 3 years maybe he he was dead maybe to 2018 or so i think he he died of illness or something so now you know see accidents are common in in two construction sites yet very often safety very often safety equipments and other precautions are ignored so even if you know these kinds of uh, in mobile gas was a you know was was on a very large scale and in just if you uh, see on figures and in 3 days it killed um 8000 people forget about killing chalo 8000 people it killed it would have stopped there and then it would have been okay but after even then you know the children who were born from the parents who were affected in that uh, incident they were not born normal they had some peculiar abnormalities in their uh, this thing body and everything so as we can see a girl here you know so no who was supposed to, you know who was supposed to be blamed the person the chairman of that company is dead who is now going to take responsibility for uh, this thing that um, the chairman you know he is dead he was supposed to be uh, taken under criminal charges and everything he is not alive anymore so we talk about what is workers worth you know is it the life of uh, workmen and everything so itna sa matlab itto sa unki zindagi ki ahmiyat hai kisi ki koi mar gaya aur kuch nahi hua if we were to understand the events leading to bhopal uh, disaster we have to ask why did a union carbide set up its plant in india why did it not set up it was an american company why did it not set up in america one reason why for foreign companies come to india is for cheap labor you know in india you get very cheap labor you know easily because everybody wants to work earn some wages that the companies pay to workers say in the usa are far higher than what they have to pay to workers in poor countries like india for lower pay company 
companies can get longer hours of work additional expenses such as housing facility for workers are also fewer thus companies can save cost and ha earn all this was to save cost you know they needed to cut cost that is why they came to india and worked cutting cost can also be done by other dangerous means lowering working conditions you know the conditions in uh, what uh, they the workers work is not up to a certain standard including lower safety lower safety measures are used as a way of cutting costs in the union carbide plant every safety device was malfunctioning or was in short of supply so the safety devices were not working properly between 1980 and 1994 the the work crew of the mic plant was cut in half from 12 to 6 workers so the workers also the strength of workers were working there was also cut to half the period of safety training for workers were brought down from 6 months to 15 days something that has to be taught in 6 months is being brought down only to 15 days so just imagine if your see you are in one standard for you complete your 6 standard for example or 8 standard in one year but what if we say that okay you we will complete the entire syllabus in uh, one month how fast will the syllabus go something which is supposed to be completed in 12 months i am saying i'll complete it in 12 uh, i'm saying i'll complete it in um, 30 days that is one month so you know just uh, imagine the speed and how efficient or how good will i teach uh the period of safety training yeah the post of night shift of the workers of the uh, you know and even the night shift workers you know post that if something you know sometimes happen even that was not there read the following comparison between uh, uc safety system in bhopal and its other plant in the usa so just compare you know let's see that what is the comparison between their safety norms in us and here at western virginia usa computerized warning and warning systems were in place whereas the uc plant in india relied on manual gauges and the hu- and the human senses to detect gas leaks at the western virginia emergency evacuation plans were in place but non existence so this is so important you know when you talk about why are there such sharp differences in safety standards across country and and even after the disaster happened why what was the compensation to the victim so low one part of the answer lies in what is perceived as the worth of indian worker one worker can easily replace another since there's so much unemployment there are many workers who are willing to work in unsafe conditions for a return of small wages working uh, making use of the workers vulnerability you know vulnerability employees or ignore safety in workplaces thus even in so many after the years of bhopal gas tragedy there are regular reports of accidents construction sites mines and factories due to the callous attitude of the employers so you can see the comparison now so they have at one place they have computerized warning whereas in india they have human senses like if you can hear if you can listen and everything that means something is wrong but they have monitoring system they have manual gauges they will go and have to see whether the figures are right or not so you can see the difference